Tracy Rambosek and her husband were looking forward to retirement. That was before her Ford Bronco died in the middle of I-35 this past May and a tractor trailer slammed into the back of her. I talked to her family's attorney who says the truck driver's distracted driving is what killed her. And had he not been using that cell phone and been paying attention to the road ahead of him, I think Ms. Rambosek would still be alive today. Rambasek is one of many who have lost their lives or family members on I-35. A new study shows 643 fatalities on I-35 between 2018 and 2022. The total number of accidents on the roadway during that same time was 591. DPS knows all too well the dangers of I-35 and partly blames distracted driving. Keep those phones down because you never know. You'll be traveling 60 to 70 miles an hour at the speed limit and there could be debris in the roadway. There could be a sudden slowdown. There could be a minor crash. And anytime you take your eyes, eyes off the roadway, you're basically driving down the road blindfold. Sergeant Washko also reminds drivers to control your speed, keep a safe distance, and move over for disabled vehicles on the side of the road. He told me there's one stretch of I-35 that is especially dangerous. If everybody is familiar with Belton, Texas at the I-14-35 merge, that is where there are a lot of crashes. So drive safely, and for Tracy Rambasek's family, they continue to grieve this wife, mother, and grandmother. They were planning their retirement. They had purchased some property. They were making active plans uh, to enjoy those golden years together.